Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm sharing with you guys ways you can use the Dollar Tree planters. I also have some really cool ideas with some Walmart planters as well. So if you want something a little more high end, I got you there too. Also, I do want to thank Planta for sponsoring today's video and I will get into that soon, but let's get into the video. First DIY, I'm just gonna be using some scrap wood. So we made these pumpkins out of these posts years ago and no longer using them. So I did save them just in case we ever wanted to use them. I save all wood, who doesn't? Uh, so I did cut them down to the same size and now I'm just gonna give them a nice sand. So I'm not sanding all of the paint off. I'm just gonna paint over this, but these are pretty rough. So I did kind of want to smooth them out so I can get a good head start or a good start on these uh, posts because I don't want slivers. I actually did give myself one while I was picking these up and moving them around. So uh, sanding them down is probably the best thing to do. I am using the color Snow White by Waverly Chalk Paint to paint these. Now the Snow White color is pretty much the exact same thing as white. So if you can't find the white, go with the Snow White. It's all white. It's all the same. So I painted these posts. I painted every single side of them and the tops and bottoms. I'm going to be using these planters from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be using some screws to screw these into the wood. We're going to make a cute little flower stand. I'm using my Ryobi drill and I'm using two of these planters from Dollar Tree. I also needed something to make a cute little sign for the top of this. So I had this sign. This is from a yard sale. I'm cutting it like 13 and a quarter, 13 inches and a half plus a little bit of extra. I am not like the best when it comes to measuring and doing wood DIYs. I would love to. So maybe this will give me like a good push to want to do that because actually all my cuts on this were perfect. Uh, so once I cut that sign down, like I said, this was from a yard sale, $1. I knew I was not going to actually use it for this purpose, but I've had it probably for a year. So it was definitely time. I'm using that snow white color once again to paint this sign as well because I did want it to match. You're going to see later on, I am going to use some antique wax by Waverly to kind of distress this and uh, just make it look a little bit better. I love white, but sometimes it just, I don't know, it doesn't work for me. I decided to use a Chocotour silk screen transfer for this. I'm using a slate rose along with velvet for the two colors of chalk paste. And I think this color is so pretty for spring or summer or kind of just all the time. I just think it's a really pretty color. I was thinking about doing all black because that's usually what I do. But since it is going to go outside, I thought a little bit of color would hurt absolutely nothing. Um, I think this is so relaxing. I have not done chalk couture in a little while and sometimes when I don't do it for like a week, I'm like, man, I really miss doing this. So this was nice. The paint underneath was not dry, so it did kind of peel up a little bit, but I really like the way this turned out actually because I wanted it to kind of have that like weathered look and I think it really does. So I... I love this so far and this is where I'm going in with that antique wax and I went over the entire sign and then once I put everything together I realized I should have done it with a post as well so I ended up going back after everything was put together and you're going to see in the end it was dry brush just a little bit so I'm only using some hot glue to glue this sign and I did put it just like this. And then I, you're going to watch me slide it up because I'm like, man, if I'm going to add flowers and they're going to eventually grow, we're going to need some room here. So I did lift them up and then I just planted some flowers. And I think this is just the cutest little flower garden ever. I think it's adorable and it is a great way to use up some of your items, but also grab Dollar Tree items. This was so inexpensive. It was under $5 to make. For this one, I decided to use some spackle. I actually only used not even a whole thing of spackle, so like a whole little tub of spackle. All this is from Dollar Tree, and I'm just using my hands, so if this grosses you out any sort of way, you can use gloves or you can use um, like a putty knife or some of that sort, but you know what? I thought I felt free doing this, like so if anything like kind of messed up, I could just use my fingers and put it back on and I think this turned out so cool. I actually feel like I need to make more of these. This dried in just a couple hours and then once that was dry, 
this is what it looks like. It is so cool. But I decided to go in with a spray paint to spray paint this. This is a metallic sat. I think it's satin nickel. But it looks like cement and I think it is so cool looking. I'm glad that I spray painted it. But it would also look cool like in a like gold I think or some kind of like white or I don't know I think any color it would look really cool uh, I did two coats of this just to make sure and then I did seal everything so I didn't show me sealing anything because I just feel like it's such a process but I'll just link this sealer in the description box below I don't know how well it will hold up with Dollar Tree planters but I think that either way uh it's they look really cool Art is not a DIY, but they have some really cute planters at Walmart that I want to show you guys. So I have a love for planting flowers and planting bushes and succulents and all the things, but honestly, I am not the best caretaker at plants. So I usually leave them behind, uh, but I love this snake plant. I have always wanted one. My friend got one a couple years ago and I envied her. I thought it was like the prettiest plant ever and it says it is very low maintenance to take care of. I also picked up this cute little planter. I have seen these all over Instagram. They're $10.98 and I decided to purchase some more succulents. So I have only been able to keep one succulent alive, but I wanted to get some new plants because thanks to Planta, they are a plant app that helps you keep your plants alive. I really like that it helps remind you when it's time to water, mist, if you fertilize, clean, and repot each of your plants. And if you kill plants like I do, you'll love this app. Like I said, I've kept a succulent alive for a couple years and hostas, but I think those little guys refuse to die anyways. I'd say they're pretty stubborn plants, even for Michigan weather. So some of the great features that Planta has to offer our plant identification, which is my favorite. You can scan houseplants and even outdoor plants, as I'm showing here, to find out how to find out the name of them and how to care for them. And I love this because I always will buy bushes or plants. Anything that is pretty, I will purchase. And then I throw the little instructions away and then I don't even know the name of the plant. But when you do add your plant to Planta, so you can take a photo of it, add your plant, and then it'll ask you where it was placed. So you can pick like the living room, you can pick the outdoors, bedroom, wherever you have it, you can use your photo. And then it will also tell you when you need to water your plant, if it needs to be in the shade. I think all of this is amazing. And then you can scroll through all your plants and it will tell you if you need to water them or if you need to repot them or whatnot. But I think it is a really cool thing and it gives you a nice little schedule that helps you treat your plants and take care of them. They have a discover feature. It tells you what plants would be great for you based off skill, interest, season, and more. And I think that would be really great, especially when you start adding your plants. They're gonna know that you like succulents or cactuses or whatever type of plant that interests you more. Uh, there's also a light meter, so it lets you know what plants prefer shade, what plants prefer sun, and it's great for those flowers that I will be planting this summer. And once I got on my Planta app, you can see I have this plant called a peacock plant, and you will do like a progress update. So you'll, they'll ask how it's doing, if it's good, if it's bad, if it's dying, uh, if you need to water it, and then it will give you a schedule as well. I think that's just really fun, and it does notify you when you need to water your plants, which somebody needs to tell me to water my plants because I... I'm absolutely terrible at that, especially with the ones that are on our front porch. Lastly, the best feature I think by far is Dr. Planta. So if your plants aren't feeling the best, it will help you figure out what's wrong with them and set up a treatment plan so you can save your plant. You guys, make sure to download Planta's app. Use my promo code KristenK14 for 14 days free trial on their 12-month Planta premium plan. DIY, I'll be using a two of these larger planners. These are from the Dollar Tree and this Coral Reef Gloss Color Crying Line. Lowe's was having an amazing spray paint sale. Like everything was like a dollar to two dollars for spray paint, which is so inexpensive. My mom was there, picked up a ton of spray paint 
And I was like, okay, if it's gloss, I can probably tone it down a little bit. I'm not, I do not like gloss spray paint whatsoever, but I love this color. I think it's really pretty. And I just sprayed both of these pots and I am using these like really cool furniture movers or like their furniture lifters possibly. Uh, I think they work great when you are spray painting so it doesn't stick to the bottom of my tent. I've had plenty of those items that have stuck to the tent. And then to gloss this down a little bit, I'm just using the Waverly Antique Wax and and just giving this a quick little dry brush. This took seconds to dry. So this was like a really quick project. I obviously had a really good spray painting day here. So the spray paint even dried within an hour. So I'm just using hot glue here. If you wanted to hear this better, use some E6000. But um, I actually think this works really well. And it's still together and going strong. So you know what? I'm 100% good with it. I just added some dirt. We have a lot of like compost. So we always throw our leaves in the yard and then we have some amazing dirt uh, the following year. And I just picked up some flowers from my local hardware store and I just decided to plant those. So I planted all kinds. I did make sure that they did need like either the sunlight or shade or part of both. And uh, if I got that wrong, I will just take pictures of them with my plant app and I will figure out where exactly they need to go. But this is what it looks like when it's done. I just bunched these up. I think this is the cutest little pot. I have seen people make little tables with this, but we don't really need a table. But planters, this is absolutely adorable. Quick one, this planner is also from the Dollar Tree. And the only thing that I'm gonna do is use this stone spray paint. I love this stuff. So mine did clog up for a second and I just ran the little nozzle under hot water and then it worked just like brand new. I was so glad because this spray paint is pretty much full. Uh, but I think this is cool. So, I mean, if you wanted a different color, just spray paint it first and then add that stone. But I liked this color when I purchased it. So I knew that this was gonna be just a really simple and quick DIY. So if you wanna grab some cute little planners, but you don't love them, grab some stone texture spray paint. Look how cool this looks. I love this one. Mine is a little dirty from obviously picking up with my gloves, but I love this one. I think it is adorable. All right, so I grabbed this planner. This is from Walmart, $14.97. I loved this green. They also had white as well, but I wanted to make a DIY fire pit. Now, I tried to make one of these a couple years ago, but I tried to use wood and I don't know, just heating up wood just didn't seem right to me, but a large ceramic bowl and these little, I cannot always think of it, these like little can burner warmers. I picked those up at Dollar Tree. I grabbed three of them, but honestly, I should have just put one in and they only last for two hours anyways. So this is so cute. And this is an amazing little s'mores fire pit. I just had rocks I just found in my yard or actually I just kind of grabbed them out of my landscaping instead of purchase them. But we made s'mores and this was so fun and it is a pretty inexpensive fire pit. And honestly, we don't cook s'mores longer than two hours anyway. So that worked out perfect for us. So these little planters are from Dollar Tree as well, burnished amber spray paint. And it was coming out a little weird, so I had to keep shaking it. Eventually it worked just fine. These actually come in a three pack. I know they used to sell them larger, maybe they still do, but I thought this small little three pack was absolutely adorable and I love the way that they stack. So I just decided to spray paint them and then add some flowers to some of the sides of this. And I think these are super cute and all they needed was a little bit of spray paint. Lastly, if you have some stumps like this, you can turn these into planners too. I've had these for a couple years now and I am obsessed with them. So there's another little hack for you guys. But that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to download Planners app. Use my promo code KristenK14 for the 14 day free trial on their 12 month Planta premium plan. But that is it, you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.